Hello, and shalom and greetings to my brothers and sisters in Messiah Yeshua, who have his testimony and guard his commandments. Brother Nick here, and today is the 25th day of the 11th month on Elohim's official Enoch calendar. It's February 11th, 2020, and this video is being broadcasted from the country of Cyprus. This video is the 2021 to 2022 official Enoch calendar. I'm making this video to announce that I have the official Enoch calendar for this coming year ready for PDF download, and it's printable. And this year I have four different calendar format versions that are all available for free PDF download and available to print. I have a one-page Enoch calendar that everything fits on one page. I have the Enoch calendar spreadsheet with biblical event anniversaries. I have the Enoch calendar with the Gregorian dates. And then I have the Enoch calendar on the Gregorian calendar. So I have several different versions for everybody to fit your calendar needs. This year, I also have a new addition to the Enoch calendar, which is the leaders and captains and additional captains of Enoch chapter 82. These new additions are going to be found on three versions of the calendar, the anniversary spreadsheet, the Enoch calendar with the Gregorian dates, and then the Enoch calendar on the Gregorian. Before I share with you these four different calendar versions, formats that I have available for you. I do want to disclaim about some of the false and incorrect versions of the Enoch calendar out there and what makes the Enoch calendar I publish official and distinct and unique from the other false versions. So my 364 day Enoch calendar is unique to all the other published incorrect versions. It's because my version every year uses the spring equinox which is the great sign of the sun on the earth for its purpose which is to calibrate or recalibrate or reset the calendar every year. And the results is a 364 day calendar year every year. While many other Enoch calendars do not complete a full 364 days every year, especially with the spring equinox. Some years their incorrect calendar version is cut short of the required 364 days while other years, their incorrect version goes several days, up to nine days beyond this 365.25 day solar cycle. And thus, their calendars are incorrectly calibrated, false, and produce a vicious cycle that they have to add a leap week. And nowhere are we instructed to add a leap week in the book of Enoch, chapter 72 through 82, or in the rest of the book of Enoch. While my calendar calibration method, set of rules of the official Enoch calendar that I publish, produces a harmonious cycle of a 364-day calendar year, every year, while all the other versions fail to do so. So in this video, I'm going to define the correct 364-day solar calendar. I will teach it to identify the false and incorrect versions of the Enoch calendar. I'm going to briefly explain the 364 day calendar template and outline. And then also I'm going to share and go over the four different versions that I have for PDF download that are printable for you guys. So just to define the 364 day calendar, I found nine instances, five in the book of Enoch, two in the book of Jubilees and two in the Dead Sea Scrolls that all say the calendar year is exactly 364 days. This is compelling information that the calendar year is 364 days. I have also published several videos that explain the 364 day calendar versus the 365.25 day solar cycle. So a calendar year is solar based, but not a full solar cycle. As I explain in these two videos that I suggest that you watch, and they would greatly enhance your understanding if you watch these two videos, the 364 day Enoch calendar versus the 365 day solar cycle, and then clarity to Enoch calendar, 364 days versus 365 days. 
Now, these videos now are about two years old, so I suggest that everybody watching get this understanding. So there are many false, incorrect versions of the Enoch calendar. Here are just some of them down here. And in my time researching, contemplating, and restoring the lost concepts of the Enoch calendar, I ran into many different published calendar versions, and many of them having different rules based on their author's interpretation. But the problem with these calendars is that none of these calendars produce consecutive, ongoing, 364-day calendar years every year and also use the spring equinox every year for its purpose, which is to calibrate the calendar and the days of the week every year upon the spring equinox. This means the many false and incorrect versions of the Enoch calendar do not complete a full 364-day calendar year every year on an ongoing and continuous basis. Some years, their false calendar version is cut short of the required 364 days, and some years their false calendar versions go several days up to nine days beyond the length of the 365-day solar cycle. Thus, their calendars are incorrectly calibrated, false, and produce a vicious cycle. And the main reason why all of these calendars are incorrect is because their publishers or their authors fail to understand that the spring equinox calibrates, recalibrates, or resets the calendar and also resets the days of the week every year. Rather, these authors of confusion use the false Gregorian days of the week and adjust and calibrate their calendar to the false Gregorian days of the week thus making some years too long and some years too short. And as I proved in this video right here, the false Gregorian seven-day week and the lost Sabbath. And I suggest everybody watch this video. It's only 17 minutes long, but there's enough information in here to give you the understanding that the Gregorian days of the week and the Gregorian Sabbath, which is Saturday, is not Yahweh Elohim's heavenly solar Sabbath. And I have a video on the Solar Sabbath that I suggest everybody watch on the Enoch calendar, the Solar Sabbath. It's a heavenly Sabbath. And so what we are supposed to do is here on Earth, using the spring equinox, we are to use the spring equinox to sync our days up to the calendar in heaven. We recalibrate our calendar to the calendar in heaven and the Sabbath that is being celebrated in heaven. And when you do that every year, by recalibrating the calendar based on the spring equinox. Rather than using the false Gregorian days of the week, rather, after the spring equinox, the following day is the first day of the first month, and that day resets or restarts on the fourth day of the week, the day that the sun, moon, and stars were created and, quote, time began, unquote. So you start the calendar on the fourth day of the week. And we know this because and I have videos that I've shared that prove this according to the Dead Sea Scrolls. So hallelujah for that understanding. And just a disclaim and not take any credit because only these things are given. These things aren't earned. But I also want to acknowledge my brothers out there who have contacted me in the comments section. They have come to the same understanding independently via the spirit of truth regarding the calendar calibration that I'm sharing with you all. All praise to the Father and the Son through the power of His Ruach HaKodesh to give us this understanding. So now regarding the 364 day calendar year versus the 365 day solar cycle, I propose that the spring equinox is the 365th day of the solar cycle that is missing from the calendar. The spring equinox and that partial leap day is the day that is absent from the calendar. As I have hypothesized, it's the missing day that Job cursed from the calendar. So I understand that the spring equinox is the day that is not included in the calendar year. It's part of the solar cycle, but has been removed from the calendar year.
And if any of the information that I've already shared with you is challenging to you, I suggest that you watch my playlist on the official Enoch calendar that I have so you can understand the restored calendar concepts that I present to you. I have a huge playlist on this calendar, very unique information that is distinct to my channel. Um, so please go ahead and check it out, but there's some extremely inf important information. One of the, my favorite videos is the Spring Equinox is the Sun's Tabernacle that the sun is on a circuit per Psalm 19. Um, also uh, about the tabernacle being erected on the first day of the first month and the tabernacle was like a type of a sundial possibly. Um, and also I go over the leap day and the international date line where to add that extra leap day every fourth year. And then I also talk about the two different 364 day calendars. There is a ecclesiastical calendar which is the one that we have. And then there's also a, another 364 day calendar running, which is the civil calendar. And that civil calendar starts on the first day of the seventh month, while the ecclesiastical calendar starts on the first day of the first month. But both calendars are 364 days. And I explain that in this video, Rosh Hashanah and the two 364 day calendars. There's the ecclesiastical calendar, and then there is the sectarian civil calendar year that is also going on. And again, one of my favorites is the solar Sabbath and the heavenly Sabbath on the Enoch calendar that we are actually, the Sabbath has been restored with the understanding of this calendar is that we can now worship on the heavenly Sabbath and holy feast days and which is going on in heaven. And we can now worship down here on earth on that day and be synced up. Let Abba Yah's will be done here on earth as it is done in heaven. It now can be because we have the solar heavenly Sabbath and our calendar is synced. Hallelujah to the Most High El. All praise to the Father and to the Son. Hallelujah to the family name of Yah. Hallelujah. So with that being said, this is the most important concept. But brothers and sisters, don't be proud. Don't boast. I don't boast. I'm so thankful for this understanding. But I am very saddened by... The fact that I keep seeing all of these false calendars out here that don't have the understanding and they have re there's a lot of teachers out there who have rejected these understand understandings and the saddening. But please do your own research on this matter and please share my work with our brothers and sisters, the Messiah Yeshua. So the Enoch calendar 364 day template. This is a template of the calendar and as you can see here is the spring equinox before the calendar starts and here's the spring equinox after the calendar ends these two days are not part of the calendar year rather this is the calendar that you're looking at months 1 through 12 and each month is 30 days as you can see with with an additional 31st day of the season every third month so third month sixth month ninth month and twelfth month all have a day of the season added an additional day of the season so so you have 12 times 30 is 360 plus 4 364 day calendar and the spring equinox is not part of the calendar and when we have a leap year there's going to be an additional day and then you have the spring equinox and that additional day that's accumulated every fourth year is the 360 fifth day and the spring equinox will happen on the 366th day so both the 365th and the 366th day are not part of the calendar year the calendar stays 364 those two days belong to the solar cycle so this year as i said i have enoch chapter 82 i have the leaders of the stations which divide the four seasons and their names into the calendar this year I have the 12 leaders of orders which distinguish the months, but there are only six given in Enoch 82. And I have those six in the calendar this year. I then have names of the followers of the leaders of the orders, which are for the summer solstice, the fall equinox, and the winter solstice. And then I have the additional heads over thousands who divide the 360 days. I have two of the names because two of the names are missing. And the reason why, I'm going to be doing a video on Enoch chapter 82, but it appears that the chapter is incomplete and the last half of the chapter is missing 
because we are missing the names of the leaders of the order of fall and winter. We're missing six names of the 12 leaders, and we're missing two names of the additional heads of thousands. And it appears that half of the chapter is missing if you read it. So now before I get into the calendar, I also want to give this disclaimer to all my brothers and sisters out there. Besides, besides the calendar concepts and being published and the Heavenly Sabbath concept being restored, over two years ago I was given the understanding to restore the covenant of Noah. It dawned on me two years, over two years ago that the only biblical method of the righteous eating flesh of beast or bird was to eat boiled flesh that had been seethed, boiled in water. And then you would take the water, the blood broth, and pour it out as water on the dirt and cover, and cover the blood broth. The only exception of not eating boiled flesh is the Passover, which is instructed to be eaten roasted with fire and not boiled. And it has to be eaten in Jerusalem. Now, fish cooked with fire is permissible because fish is a different type of flesh. Paul wrote that there are four different types of flesh human, beast, fowl, and fish, okay? And Yeshua, he ate roasted fish with fire. As a descendant of Noah, you are born into this everlasting covenant with Yahweh Elohim. And this is the reason why Yahweh Elohim is going to judge the world with fire, and there are going to be few men left because they've broken the everlasting covenant of Noah. The everlasting covenant is to only eat boiled flesh, and not eat with the blood. And I explained that, and I gave a warning about a year ago on the spring equinox here to warning to the world that Noah's everlasting covenant is broken. And for you, the few people who've watched these videos, okay, maybe like a couple thousand video people who have watched it, you are blessed because you get this understanding as well. So hallelujah. All praise to the Father and Son for the understanding to restore the covenant of Noah. But please watch this playlist because, and please fulfill your part of the covenant and have this understanding. So now let me go ahead and share with you the four different versions of the 2021-2022 official Enoch calendar. So here is my one-page Enoch calendar for the 2021-2022 to year. And this is a one-page printout. This is a great calendar just to put where, you know, in your glove box or wherever you have it at or even to share it with people because it's just a one-page calendar. It's very simple. And as you can see here, I have the months right here, the first month, second, third, all the way through 12, months 1 through 12 in different colors. I have the days of the month right here, 1 through 30, and then the 31st days are every third month. And then next to the days, I have the Gregorian equivalents of the days right here in the columns to the right. And then additionally, I have the Heavenly Sabbath days marked out, and then also the feast days. And then on the bottom, I have calendar rules, concepts, commentary, and definitions that I also added to get a little bit refreshing understanding of these concepts. But as you can see, this is the 364-day calendar on one page, and I hope that you're blessed by this, brothers and sisters. Freely I've received this understanding, and freely I give it. No donations or gifts accepted, just true fellowship and all praise to the Father and to the Son. Hallelujah. So hopefully you're blessed by this calendar. The other calendar that I have this year for you, brothers and sisters, is the Enoch calendar spreadsheet with the biblical event anniversaries. And it's going to be for 2021 through 2022. And in this calendar, you're going to have all of the biblical anniversaries that happen on these days with the festival days. And then additionally, if you read carefully, you're going to be able to have the leaders of the stations and their names. So here is a great example of the names of, of Enoch chapter 82 properly placed. And I hope to do a video on Enoch chapter 82 and explain how I have the correct placement. But here is an example of the correct placement of these captains and these heads and leaders of Enoch 82. Just looking here on June 19th, we have the day of the season, and here we have the leader of the station of the summer season, and the leader's name is Halem Malek, and that's according to Enoch chapter 82, verses 12 to 13 and 18. And then also on this day, we have an additional captain of a thousand, 
And that captain of a thousand's name is Helul Yasaf. And that is according to Enoch chapter 82, 12, and 17. So you have the leader of the station, and then you have an additional captain of a thousand. Then below that, the following day, we have Gedal Yal, who is the leader of the order of the fourth month, right here. So now you have the leader of the order of the fourth month, according to Enoch 82.17. And then after that, we have the summer solstice, Adnarul, a follower of the leaders of the orders of the months, according to Enoch 82.14. So this is a great example of the proper placement of how it is. So on this day of the season, not only do you have the leader of the station, but then you also have the additional captain of a thousand followed by the leader of the order of the month, which is on the first day of the fourth month. And it just so happens that the following day after that, you have a follower of the leader of the order, right here, here's the leader of the order. And that lead, follower of the leader of the order is Adnarol, who represents the summer solstice. And the summer solstice is gonna happen on June 21st. So this is a correct placement of these leaders of the station, the additional captain of a thousand, the leader of the order, and then followed by a follower of the leader of the order of months. So hallelujah, all praise to the Father for the wisdom and understanding to properly place these. And again, uh, so I suggest that you check that out and it's also gonna be on my Enoch calendar. So this biblical anniversary spreadsheet, again, it has all of the anniversaries and I hope, I hope that you were all super blessed by this PDF download of this calendar. There's and now here is the official Enoch calendar with the Gregorian equivalents on it. And in this packet of the calendar, I have the calendar outline rules and concepts and commentary. I also have a graphic that I made that explains the gates that the sun travels in for 30 days, 30 days, and 31 days, 30 days, 30 days, 31 days, 30 days, 30 days, 31 days, 30 days, 30 days, 31 days. And then you have the spring equinox which is not part of the 364 day calendar. So I have this for you guys to study, that graphic. I also have a list of the leaders of Enoch chapter 82. And then I have a calendar key that's very important. A lot of you have asked for a calendar key regarding the color coordination of the calendar. So here's the calendar key. I have new months and the leaders of the orders in green. I have Sabbaths in purple, and the Sabbath this year is going to be on the Gregorian Wednesday. I have the Feasts of Yahweh of Leviticus chapter 23 in blue, not including the Sabbaths, which are in purple. I have the fast days of the 4th, 5th, and 10th months in gray. Now, Yom Kippur is in blue because it's a Feast of Yahweh. I have the additional feast days of the temple scroll of the Dead Sea Scrolls in orange. I have the days of the seasons, station leaders, and additional captains over a thousand in red. I have the followers of the order, which is the summer and winter solstices, and the fall equinox in light yellow. And then I have the spring equinox in bright yellow. And then I have the Enoch calendar, which is 12 months with the Gregorian dates. And then I have the Gregorian calendar with the Enoch calendar equivalent as well, this version, which is the Gregorian version, as you can see here. It has the same slides in the front, but the calendar is set up on the Gregorian calendar rather than on the Enoch calendar. So as you can see, here's March 2021, and you can see the spring equinox here, and now we have the first day of the first month, and then April, May, and all the way through March of the following year. But this is has the Enoch equivalent on the Gregorian, so you can use this and write in your schedule, this is how you prefer it. So there you have it, brothers and sisters. I hope that you're blessed by all of these calendars this year. The Heavenly Sabbath this year is gonna be on the Gregorian Wednesday. So please go ahead and check this out. Please share this video and let everybody else know that they're on a false Enoch calendar, that if they're using an Enoch calendar with on the Gregorian fourth day, which is a Wednesday, to start their calendar, that that is a false calendar. False Sabbath day and false feast days 
and invite them and share with them this true Sabbath, the true heavenly Sabbath, the true feast days, and the true calendar that we might be a cod in truth. And I am signing off and shalom to all my brothers and sisters out there in Messiah Yeshua who have his testimony and guard his commandments. Shalom to you.